Good afternoon and welcome to Nova Resources Corporate Presentation. I'm Quentin Henney, President and Chairman. Today I'll be talking about some things that require a cautionary note. This note is included in this presentation and posted on our website. Novo currently has 179 million shares out. We have roughly 32 million in cash and a strong shareholding base, including Kirkland Lake, Creasy Group, and Newmont. About 3 billion years ago, there was really only one continent on Earth. It was called Ur. This continent has since broken apart. The Pilbara Craton, which is the focus of our exploration, is now in Australia. The Capel Craton has ended up in South Africa and is host to the Witwatersrand Basin. The Witz Basin has produced nearly 1.6 billion ounces of gold, which is roughly 30% of all gold mined in human history. Novo's land package across the Pilbara Craton encompasses nearly 13,000 square kilometers. You can see in this image we extend from nearly 400 kilometers from east to west. Our deposits are different than most gold deposits. We're not dealing with veins, we're not dealing with loads, we're dealing with sedimentary layers, in fact conglomerates. These are gravels that were laid down along ancient coasts and ancient rivers many eons ago. The gold in our deposits is quite coarse. Nuggety gold is very difficult to assess. It's hard to get a representative sample of material when you're dealing with nuggets. Nonetheless, Novo is the only gold company that I know of that has developed the systematics to tackle such nuggety mineralization. First, I'm going to speak about Beaton's Creek. Beaton's is in the East Pilbara near the town of Nulligan. Conglomerates of Beaton's Creek are about 1 to 2 meters thick. They're comprised of silica boulders that are close packed. The sandy matrix in between those boulders is what hosts the coarse grain gold. The conglomerates themselves are extensive. They cover several square kilometers and they have a very well-defined top and a bottom. A couple of years ago, we undertook a trial bulk extraction. This process was all free dig. We did not need to drill and blast. We stripped the overburden. We mined the conglomerate very selectively, and we, we demonstrated very good continuity of grades and mineability. current resource at Beaton's Creek is about 450,000 each of an indicated and inferred, and the grades are well north of 2 grams per ton. We've taken Beaton's Creek through a, a long list of steps to get it to this point. We've established a new geological model for these types of gold deposits. We developed sampling regimen for the nuggety gold mineralization. We model a very robust resource, which I just talked about, which for a property that most people have written off is astounding. Trial bulk extraction and processing was conducted a couple of years ago. We achieved native title agreements, we gained acceptance of a mining lease application, and we've accomplished full mine permitting. This project is ready to put into production. We've struck an alliance with financial partner Simitomo Corporation, and we've undertaken an option study, including looking at strategic acquisitions. Right now, we're undertaking mechanical sorting tests, which I'll speak about a little bit later. At Caratha in the West Pilbara, we're also dealing with a conglomerate gold system. On the property, we have two conglomerates, an upper and a lower. They're about 5 to 10 meters apart. These two units host gold, which is quite coarse grain. You can see in the images at the bottom. We bulk sampled this. We diamond drilled this. We demonstrated good continuity continuity of these units over about three and a half kilometers and we demonstrated the grades range from about 1.2 to 6.1 grams per ton. Right now we're taking Caratha through a series of steps much like we did at Beaton's Creek. We've established a new geological model for this type of conglomerate. We developed sampling regimen for this extremely nuggety gold mineralization. We complete, completed a mineralization report that's suitable for mining lease application. And right now we're undertaking testing of mechanical sorting. I'll talk more about that more uh, here in just a jiffy. We're working towards native title agreements, and once we have our mechanical sorting uh, trials completed, we'll decide on how to do our trial extraction and, and process. Edgina, the third project I'm going to speak about, is really the weather derivative of the conglomerates that I just spoke about at Beaton's Creek and Caratha. Those conglomerates have weathered away, and gold has been shed down onto the, the basically the ocean wet 
ocean eroded terrace along the Piedmont from Port Hedland to Caratha. Here you see the geological model for this type of mineralization. On the right, the gold has been liberated through weathering and erosion and has been reconstituted in gravels down on that flat terrace. In the lower left, you can see that the terrace itself is quite extensive. It covers many, many hundreds of square kilometers. In the lower right, you can see the, the actual conglomerate sources. These are the rocks that were eroded to generate the gold deposits in the flats. Last year, we focused most of our effort on the edge of mining lease. We did a, a lot of work in the testery to really evaluate and come up with systematics for how to explore and evaluate this unique style of mineralization. Nonetheless, we've got other areas across the Piedmont, this, uh, this vast terrace, where we know there's gold mineralization very similar to that found at Edgen. In 2019, we did extensive trenching, we did metal detecting, we did bulk sampling. This was all in an effort to evaluate gold distribution and gold grades in this very, very unique style of mineralization. Here you see concentrates from the processing of the bulk samples. Most of the gold we recovered, in fact, most of the gold in the gravels at Edgina is quite coarse grain, say plus one millimeter in size. That gives it a unique advantage. It, it makes it potentially uh, easy to recover through mechanical sorting. Again, I'll talk about that momentarily. We determined grades for the various uh, different geological domains within the Edgina mining lease, within the swale, the valley-like feature uh, that it collects or has collected much of the gold. The grades were running about 1.7 gram per cubic meter. Along the swale margin, they run about 0.6 gram per cubic meter. And on the periphery, they run around 0.3 gram per cubic meter. To give you a perspective, most alluvial deposits average about 0.3 grams. So we're very excited by these numbers. Here you see a map of our exploration efforts. We did all that test work last year in Northeast Edgina. But now we're expanding. We found gold at South Edgen. We found gold up at Paradise and Road to Paradise. And we have a, a goal to find five new areas that we can test just like we did last year. We can, we can advance towards bulk sampling and hopefully uh, towards trial mining over the next few months. We've taken Edgen through a path much like Beaton's Creek and Caratha. We've established the new geological model. We've developed a sampling regimen for this nuggety mineralization. We've upgraded our camp and processing facilities. We've used various techniques, including ground penetrating radar with great success. We brought in Sumitomo Corporation as a joint venture partner, and we've undertaken further land acquisition. Right now, our main focus on, is on mechanical sorting tests. One of the more amazing things we've done recently is test recovery of Edgina Gold and Beaton's Creek Gold using mechanical sorters. Here you see our initial test done in mid-2019. We adhered very small nuggets. These are down to less than one millimeter in size to a piece of tape. We stuck it on a conveyor belt, put it through a mechanical sorter. Lo and behold, the machine could see, it could detect those very, very small nuggets every single time that piece of tape went around the conveyor belt. This is a remarkable outcome. We then put actual bulk sample material from Edgina through sorters both at Steinert and Tomra, and remarkably we recovered 99 to 100 percent of the gold out of those samples, which is just phenomenal. And we did it into a mass that was less than 1 percent of what we started with. That is an astounding outcome. Mechanical sorting in Beaton's Creek has also yielded very positive results. Even though Beaton's Creek is hard rock, we had to crush it, we had to sieve it, and do the different size fractions, it produced very good results. We've recovered most of the gold in masses of material that are much, much finer or much smaller than the original amount of material we started with. So we see great promise here too. I'm going to end my talk today with a little bit of a video. This is a mechanical sorter. It's actually at Tomra. And what you're seeing here is material coming off the conveyor on the left the sensor that detected the gold is actually further left. By the time the gold reaches the end of the conveyor here, the computer has determined its location and there's little jets of air that, are, uh, uh, that come out of the small bracket below that belt. That bracket is actually blowing the gold and the surrounding rock matter over and into the chute to the right. 
Again, we recovered 100% recovery using the mach this machine. This is absolutely phenomenal technology. It's going to have a huge impact on what we're doing in the Pilbara, but it will probably get into the, the gold mining industry as a whole, and it will revolutionize gold mining. And with that, I will end my presentation. Thank you very much.